Let's go over crude real quick. One of our top setups, I'll put gold next to crude real quick so we can see what's going on. Uh, one of our top setups, it's beginning a lot of setups. We had a huge short yesterday, uh, off this yesterday also. This blue line, let's go over this. Uh, three of our top levels are these solid red, solid blue, solid green levels. That's market profile. The blue line is very important with trend. And you're going to see tons and tons of trades that are very effective with the arrows and just uh, retesting this with trend, the blue level, because that's the most volume that's traded. So if you see on crude, it's rejected it twice. And uh, it's one of my favorite spots to trade with overall trend direction because if we know our filter, our trend filter is down, if it's down, I love to trade off these spots. And if the arrows lined up, I sent you charts uh, to you yesterday, how they lined up yesterday for a big short, just under $500 per one contract, really nice, easy short yesterday in the morning off the control point. But you can see the activity you get off this. Now, this works on all markets. You get really nice activity off that. Uh, here's gold this morning, and here's crude. That, that blue line, what it represents, that's taking all the volume that's coming in the market, that th thick, solid blue level. These solid red, blue, and green levels, if you see an arrow that fires on these levels, that's your most important time to get in the market because this is actually volume that's coming in from all the hedge funds, algorithms, prop firms, amateur professional traders, amateur traders. It's calculating all the volume that's coming in, and it's looking at a long-term profile right here. It's a profile. It's a roadmap. So I love to filter the arrows off of these three levels, blue, green, red. In fact, let's say I'm outside of it and I close back inside. Let's say I'm outside of red and I close back inside. I automatically look for an arrow to retest and go short right off of that. And I look for a big move. Vice versa, if I'm outside of the green and I come back inside of it, and I look for an arrow to get in, to cross, retest. I look for a huge move to the upside. You'll see a lot of these. Oops. So you can play off these levels. See a big ABC move this way. I'll show you what an ABC will look like. Or if I close back below the control point. I'm sorry, if I close back above it. All right, if I close back above it. Then what I'll do is I'll look for a move up, a retest. And then I'll look for a huge move to the upside, big, powerful move. So in other words, you really want to play off these. The best are with trend, but these three levels are your most important you're going to trade off of because they dictate where you should be trading. Solid red, solid blue, solid green. That's my most important profile. Don't get caught up in all these different lines. Volume is the most important. You're going to see a lot of signals that come up where this is where you want to trade off of. Gold, this is where you want to trade off this morning. We had a gold arrow that fired off right here, right exactly at the level we right here. You, you know, you want to see, yet you, you, you had the crude yesterday. Crude fired right there. Yesterday morning, right where that circle is after a huge move down. We had a big area that fired here that brought a big move back up on gold uh, crude yesterday. So control point bounce, same thing when it broke had a big arrow down. So you're getting a lot of good signals when you when you test these three levels. Now I have three market profile levels on this chart. The other one, you can see we're bouncing off a of crude right now. The other thin green line and thin red line up here, you can see the thin green and thin red. So the thick blue, red, and green is volume profile. The thin red and thin green is what's called developing profile, develops as price ticks. And then my third one are these red dots and green dots, which are price profile. Price is the least important of the two. I see a lot of trades where you just get developing the overlap volume. I see it all the time. I see reverse the market time and time and time after again, over and over again. It did it on gold at the low here this morning. 
Look how it overlapped. The two overlapped. So you see a lot of them. You see a lot of them that overlap. So these are great spots to get into the market. These are your spots where you want to look for a positive or negative market builder. Now, if all three overlap within two or three ticks, you have what's called a brick wall. Now, this was a confluence trade. They had two times confluence at price and volume on crude. Over here on gold, it had price and volume on gold. So it's two times confluence. Now, here's where a stack level is. It's got price, volume, and developing at 13.35. So if I see an arrow, let's say the gold today, if I jet right through this, it's a really easy setup for me. If I jet right through that, guess what I'm looking for? I'm looking for an arrow to cross, retest that guy right there. I'm looking for a big range breakout right there. Vice versa, if it wants to continue down, if it breaks this brick wall down here, I got a brick wall down here on gold too. I got 13.32 as price, 13.32.30 as volume, 13.34 as my developing. If I jet through this today, then I know I'm going to look for an arrow immediately to break, retest. I'm looking for an arrow short right there. The arrows show you, show you the, the highest probability reversal area, okay? But the market profile shows you where it should reverse, where you should see a setup. And this is the roadmap of the market. It's been working for going on 33 years. 33 years, man. It's not luck that it stopped right here at the blue line and stopped at the green level low and green level low here. It's not, that's not luck. That's not chance. It happens on a daily basis because it's a roadmap of the market. But you got to put it in order of importance. I can trade off just the red, blue, and green levels, solid levels by themselves, all by themselves. That can reverse the market all by themselves, just by themselves with the overall trend direction. But if you close inside or outside these levels, you better be awake and watch for an error of fire because that's going to be your highest probability trade on a first cross retest. That should get the market rolling. All right, so we'll watch that for gold today. We'll watch if it gets through 32, gets through 35. If it does, we're going to have a productive entry in the market. On crude oil inventories, we know if we break through 61 here, that little brick wall right there, right? you got a price profile. See that? Price and so on. All right, Gerald, let's shut that off. So now as we got... The market trying to do a range breakout on gold. What are we going to do? We're looking for a retest of 28. We'll see if we get back up to 28. Retest continuation. 